What is going on people, how are you all doing and welcome back to my channel. I haven't uploaded in quite a while and I do apologise for that. Nevertheless, what am I doing right now? I am making a video. Today's video you will already know what we are doing by the tile and almost certainly the thumbnail. But before we get onto this video, I'm going to do a few things, a few announcements that you'll be needing to know this next week and two weeks. It's very important. Right, so... Uh, on Wednesday, the 25th of July, I am actually heading out to America. It's my first time in America. The city we're actually going to is Los Angeles, obviously the state, California. I am so excited for this trip. I cannot wait. I'll be doing videos over there. It's going to be insane. Quick trip back to the past. This time last year before I went to Dubai, I actually did a video doing a bucket list video. Since then, I've had a lot of new subscribers so I'm just going to recap what that video is about. It was obviously a bucket list video which I just mentioned but one of the bucket lists was to actually one day live in LA or visit LA and a year later that's actually coming true so that's definitely getting ticked off the bucket list as soon as I land in LA. But yeah let's get back up to the topic of this video we are doing right now. Apologies for the error so it's a bit of a mess I need to get it cut immediately before this LA trip because it is legit all over. This bit sticking out, this bit, I don't even know what this bit's about, to be honest with you. Today's video is about some celebrities, uh, about their money, and about their jewellery, jewellery, um, especially chains. Obviously, I did a video on this chain, I got here, this ice chain, and it, it has about 4.1k views in like two months, which is unreal. I thought you guys do like watching some jewellery videos and etc. So I thought, why not bring you some more chain jewellery videos, but show you some of the celebrity pieces that are out right now, and they are unreal. So yeah, this video is the top 10 most expensive celebrity Rapper chains or just celebrities in general like actors. Check this out. I had on ice but then I watched her ice get thin. Now that she sink or swim. She had an attitude in the summer, but she being nice again. These past few days I've been doing some research for this video and I've got on my notepad on my phone right now some of the most expensive chains on the market, if not the expensive chains on the market. And I've actually got one or two stories behind a couple I think you'd find very interesting. Each time I call out a chain uh, on a picture, side by side, or just anywhere across the screen. But yeah, towards the end of the video, I'm going to leave a poll in either one of the top uh, left or right corner. That's basically going to ask you guys which one of the chains is your favourite and would you wear like out and about on the street. We've got chains right here worth 50,000 to about 300,000. It is actually unreal. So the first major icon on this list is actually Metro Boomin. If you don't know who Metro Boomin is, he's actually a record producer. And these are some of the songs he's actually produced. He produced songs like the Ric Flair Drip with Amigos, I believe. And obviously the man himself, Ric Flair. He also did a song called X. Um, I think it was, the actual single was 21 Savage. I'm not 100% sure, honestly. He did um, one of the biggest 21 Savage songs, Oh Ha, as well. That was like one of 21 Savage's songs that actually Brought him up to where he is now at the top peak of his like career, I guess you can say. But his chain will be on the screen right now. It is unreal. You might see a lot of like knockoff chains like this on the internet, but this is the this is the original one and what started all them fakes to actually appear in the first place. It's like a lightning bolt and it actually looks insane. I would 100% be wearing that right now if I had. So the price estimated is around 50,000, but can be lower and can be higher, but I very much doubt it'll be lower than 50,000 because have you seen the diamonds on this piece? It is unreal. Unfortunately, I ain't got them diamonds on this piece. The chain is called a high voltage chain. Obviously, describe the light bulb. The chain is actually flooded with two tone diamonds, which is like a white and then a yellow, if you can see it, what, what I'm looking at on the on the, on the the phone right now. It's actually an Instagram video. The next chain on this playlist is from um, Kodak Black, who is a massive artist, rapper, currently in this generation. Unfortunately, he's actually in prison at the moment, making this video, which is unfortunate, but there you go, he's in prison. This chain is called the Sniper Gang, um, obviously based on like a scope, when I'm looking at it right now, it's got Sniper and obviously Gang, top and bottom, and I'm not sure what it's actually got on the side of that, is that like 2G? Or something like that, that looks, that actually looks pretty lit, I, to be honest, I don't know if I'd wear it, 
because it don't like represent anything pretty much of me or anything I'd probably like sue I guess you can say but this chain is unreal the maker of this chain is actually called Elia Avenia I'm not 100% sure if I um, pronounce that name right I'm sorry if I didn't the price of this chain is actually unknown obviously because it is flooded with diamonds yet again um, the estimated price though of this chain is actually supposed to be worth around fifty thousand dollars and hundred and ten thousand dollars which is just it's just stupid the amount of money spent on chains nowadays is like f from rappers and just celebrities in general is unreal it's like Whatever rapper is about nowadays and is like growing, they've got to have a chain that represents himself and it's got to be bigger than anyone else's. It, honestly, I just can't get it. This, this chain is just the weirdest out of the market, if I'm honest with you. Actually, no, it's not the weirdest. You'll see the weirdest very soon, but it's a nice chain, don't get me wrong. Any chain which has got diamonds in is quite nice, in my opinion, but yeah. It's very interesting, it kind of, with the scope of the sniper, it reminds me of the COD days when I used to play back in primary school. Yeah, that doesn't sound quite right, playing COD in primary school when it's an 18 game. My parents, ruthless mate, ruthless. So this next chain is just, I don't, I don't get why people get these type of chains, because they might have some sentimental to them, but... This is just funny, right? This is one of the Migos, Quavo. You're going to see a lot of these in this video. But Quavo actually decided to purchase a full diamond Yoda from Star Wars. Is it Star Wars? If, I'm, if it's not Star Wars, then something's wrong. But I'm pretty certain it's Star Wars Yoda. The little, like, creature type thing with that walking stick is supposed to be quite old. Let the force be with you. I think that's a massive quote from Yoda himself. You'll see a video or a picture on the screen right now of the actual chain. It, I just, look at this chain, it's just funny as hell. I, I would wear it, I'm not even lying to you, I'd actually wear this chain 100%. It seems like the makeup of each one of these chains is exactly the same. This is also made by Elliot Avenia, I'm not obviously, I'm, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but he's the maker, or she's the maker of pretty much every chain you've seen on this list. Right, so this chain, I kind of have a story behind it myself, and this is quite interesting to be honest. Right, this next chain is from Drizzy Drake, the man himself, the sixth god from Toronto, obviously. Right, so the story behind this is, wait, let me just show you the chain which is on the screen right now, this side or this side, I'm not sure. But this chain is a stone island piece, which is made by Ben Bowler, who is a massive Massive chain jewelry designer, maker, creator, whatever you want to call him. He's a beast at these pieces, and this Stone Island piece is huge. It is a massive necklace with about a Stone Island full iced out logo, iced out logo, probably even bigger than my arm right now. It is unreal. The story I have behind this is that Drake actually was given this at his Boy Meets World Tour, which I actually went to in Sheffield, but it was actually given this chain in Manchester, which was like, I think the show after or before, the one he came to me. Unfortunately, I didn't, I wasn't able to see it when it was actually performing, because I very doubt he'd be wearing that and dancing around at the same time, because that looks pretty heavy, if you ask me. At the moment that piece was actually made, I do believe it was one of the most expensive out there. Obviously, it would have been perfect because Drizzy Drake, probably one of the best rappers in the game right now. I mentioned Quavo, one of the Migos that he'll on in this video, and there's another Migo right now, and it is Offset. By far, I think one of my favourite ones, to be honest with you, him or Quavo is one of, definitely one of my favourites. And that is his rain drop chain. You'll see on the screen right now. That is that is definitely one of the most controversial ones. It is unreal though. And yet again, I would wear this chain. Elia Avenia, once again, the maker of this chain. I think that's definitely the go-to man for the Migos for their chains and jewelry in general. The worth of this chain is yet again 100,000 USD. Which is unreal. Actually, engraved on the back of this chain is Raindrop itself holds around 32 carats. And the chain is 65 carats, which is just... Wow. A Raindrop. Right, so going on to the final two chains. And by far the craziest chains you will be seeing in this video. And probably on the surface of the earth. Quite a while. There's definitely someone will beat them, don't get me wrong, but I don't think they'll be beating them anytime soon. Let's kick it off with a little 
pump, Lil Pump. He has many, many different chains. Maybe bang average chains, but definitely worth quite a lot. Maybe hundred thousand, seventy-five, fifty thousand dollars. But he's got one chain which he has recently picked up, worth around three hundred and sixty thousand dollars. It is actually a self-portrait of himself, coloured in. Different coloured diamonds, he's got red I believe, there's actually a picture on my phone right now, he's got green coloured diamond, he's got grey, not really grey, it's like, I'd say white, let's just say white, diamond, he's got purple I can see also, he's got yellow diamonds, it's just a mixture of different coloured diamonds, which has definitely put that price up to 360000 yet again you'll see an image on the screen, but... There's actually a YouTube video I actually found out about this. Yesterday I found out about it actually. I watched a video of him. The maker of it actually going to drop it off. And let's just say Lil Pump was actually over the moon with it. But the last chain for this video and is by far the most craziest chain ever. And it is the rapper 6 9 which this past year has just blew up the internet. Blew up YouTube with his music videos etc. And he's actually got... Like, same again with, with every other rapper, he's got millions and millions of diamond chains, iced out chains. But he's recently got, yet again, another chain, but it's worth $750,000. That is, that's what it is reported as. It is a, a little pony, if you don't know what that is, it's like a girl um, toy collection. 6 9 has actually got a little pony, iced out with his own multicoloured hair. Attached to the pony. Check out the pictures. Wow, I cannot believe I'm seeing this right now. He has actually got that chain round his neck 24/7, and it is worth nearly a million US dollars. Wow, I'm I'm going, I'm going. If you have enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up and cannot wait for them LA vlogs in legit like seven days. Then smash that thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. You don't want to miss LA vlogs. I'm going to Universals. I'm going on shopping sprees. Can I actually finally get a pair of Yeezys? Please, I beg. And I just hope enjoy my time with my family, etc. But yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace.